Welcome back to Living It Away. Our friends at Chef Zone continue to deliver the goods. Well, you got to pick them up, but we're talking about the chef's box. <laughs> this is a great option. It has enough food in it to feed a family of four for a few days. And John actually shows us how easy it is to throw together a meal. Okay, I'm really excited about this. This is the second time that I'm trying the chef's box from Chef Zone. The first one went off without a hitch. This one, I just got my box. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. As you can see, there's a ton of food in this box, and inside there's a paper that pretty much tells you exactly what to do with it, and it really is just a combination of what you want to eat with it. In this particular box, I'm looking forward to the meatloaf. I decided to follow the instructions on the heating process. It really is just a few minutes with boiling water on the stove. It heats it up in the packets, and it does a good job of heating it up as well. I decided that I would take the gravy and make a meatloaf loco moco out of this particular box. Okay, here's what I did. I took the packets of Wagyu meatloaf, I put it in the boiling water in its packet, sealed for eight to 10 minutes. I also heated up the gravy in a saucepan on the stove and all of the other things that were already cooked besides the fish, all they needed to do was either go in the microwave, and in this case, I already had the water boiling, so I put it in the water on the stove and boiled it to heat it up. Now, in the last box, I also had fish, so what I did was I cooked the fish because a lot of people thought I was gonna make steak, and instead, this time, I decided to save the fish for another night. It also came with duck legs. Now, the duck legs look exactly like chicken legs. This came in its own sauce, but because I already had the meatloaf, I decided I'd pass on that and serve the meatloaf locomocos to the children. And that's really it. I think it was uh, very easy. It's very tasty. There are some good flavors to each of the dishes that are put into this box. Super easy for warming up. And really, if I were to cook the fish, all it takes is a saucepan and a little heat. There are so many days worth of food in this box that $125, totally worth it. Stay tuned to Living 808 for the next Chef's Box and when you can order your own and pick it up super easy at Chef's Own and take it home and cook for the entire family. So, you know, there's so many different combinations and, and, and I've, of course, learned a little something from Uncle Sam where I, you know, I grab, can grab some stuff out of the fridge and, and add to it. In this case, I didn't have to. There were so many great little items in there that I didn't even touch. In fact, tonight I'm gonna do the grilled corn, I'm gonna grill the corn. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. do some grilled corn. Uh, the, uh, the peppers, there's peppers. I might actually even stuff the peppers. I don't know yet, we'll see. But there's just so many different combinations, it's great. See, you're a good chef, and also just because of all the shows and experience you have with Sam Choi, I think it would be more interesting if you make me or Mikey try and do something with it, but it is pretty much ready to go. It's just if you create it. That's the thing. There, there was yeah. only one thing that needed to be cooked, and that's the fish, well, the eggs, too. But there's really only one thing that needs to be cooked in this entire box. Everything else is just warming up, and it was, oh, by the way, the, the, the bread. Oh, I made grilled yeah. cheese for lunch with that bread. It was a garlic bread. So mm. good. So oh, good. the creativity. Okay. So I teased it, but here, here's what they have in this week's box that you can have for your family. I feel like Oprah. <laughs> I know. You can have a chef's box. You can have a chef's box. <laughs> it's, it's available for pickup this Saturday. Here's some of the featured items for this week's box. Four portions each because it is good for a family of herb-roasted Greek-style chicken, Belgian 
beef stew. No, I've never had that rice pilaf with lemon thyme, celery root and Yukon potato mash, and Eva summer corn chowder with smoked salmon flakes. Oh, man. Can I trade back the box? That I <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, also in there, there's fresh baked items that includes French bread and Belgian chocolate cake. And don't forget, the box also contains fresh local items like the smoked marlin dip. <laughs> and the, uh, the La Couture Lavash, local veggies from Ho Farms, summer fruit, and Calais eggs. Each box is designed to uh, feed a family of four for five days, unless you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, you could definitely do more damage. The deadline to order this week's box is, box is Thursday before midnight. Pick up once again available Saturday, August 29th. For more information, you can visit chefzone.com. And we'll remind you to go ahead and order this. Uh, we'll try to re we'll try to remember ourselves for Thursday. I got to tell mm -hmm. you, you don't have to be a chef. It really is easy. The instructions are on the paper in the box. All you got to do is warm some stuff up and throw it together. You will look like a home chef or a chef <laughs> at a restaurant with this stuff. All right, coming up, a story about getting injured because of a